Hello, on this video I'm gonna talk about global variables. So a global variable is a variable that can be seen all over your code. So next I'm gonna create here a function. And then right here I wanna call the print fruit function. So if I call this, it's gonna print the global variable which is banana then it's gonna call the print fruit and it, that will print pear. So banana and pear, great. Now, if I wanna pass a variable to the print function, then right here, I'll pass a value. And if I run this program, it will send apple here and it will print apple. So this will print banana and this will print apple. So banana and apple. And I can also send the global variable as a parameter to the function. And doing so, this is gonna print banana and this is gonna print banana. Now if I run again, I have inside the function and outside the function the same name. Now, let's say I do not wanna send this as a parameter. So if I don't want to send as a parameter, I can still use the global variable right here, and that's gonna work just as fine. So if I run this again, it works just fine. The function can see the global variable here. All right, so the problem now comes if I want to change the global variable inside the function. So if I attempt to do that, then it will not give me an error. However, this variable here has absolutely nothing to do with this variable here. Whatever you create locally to a function, then this function will use first the local variable, and then if the local variable is not here, then it will use the global variable. So right here, if I comment it out and run, it uses the global variable. And I can print this after I call the function, just to show you that the value of the global variable did not get changed. So I'm gonna run it again. So we print here, banana, which is this line here. Then you call the print function. The print function created a new variable with exactly the same name, assigned pineapple, then printed the pineapple, which is this line here. But then once it came back from the function, it printed the global variable with the original name. So this value here did not get changed. If I wanna change this value here, I need to indicate that I'm using the global variable. So 9.11 tells that this variable here is the reference for the global variable. And if I change this variable now, this value here, once it comes back from the function, will be changed. So instead of printing banana here, it will print pineapple. So let's run this code. So there it is. So this line here got printed by line 16, the global variable, then it goes to the function, so it comes to the function. The function indicates that it's gonna be using the global variable. Then the global variable gets assigned a new value. Then you print the global variable, which is this line here. And then it goes back to the code here in the bottom on line 18. And the second time it prints the global variable, the value got changed. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.